Okay, China's fresh red alert as Nancy Pelosi's visit approaches just two hours from now. The Chinese foreign ministry has just issued a statement saying the U.S. will certainly shoulder the responsibility and pay the price for undermining China's sovereignty and security interests. China's foreign ministry spokesperson also says we hope U.S. officials would clearly understand the importance and sensitivity of the issue and how dangerous it would be if this visit actually happens. Let's listen in for a moment. Meifang 中方多次明确无误地向美方阐明了中方坚决反对美国众议院议长串访台湾的坚定的立场。我们希望美方的官员能够清楚地理解这个问题的重要性、敏感性以及一旦发生的危险性。China's, uh, 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 the, the, the narrative is escalating, the words being used are becoming, uh, you know, more specific. The threat of a retaliation and an escalation coming thick and fast from the Chinese establishment, grave consequences and endangering of the world if this visit goes through is what China is now threatening. We've got Taiwan's best journalists on our panel this evening and... Uh, William Yang is also joining us with us, uh, joining us from Taipei. Uh, William, uh, quickly want to get a perspective from you. Uh, these statements that are coming out from China, uh, obviously more and more of them coming up as the landing of Nancy Pelosi gets closer. What are you making of them, William? Uh, the general sense we're getting from Taiwan appears to be it's business as usual. These are psychological mind games. The air of threat has always been there. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Whenever a foreign dignitary visits, this is what China usually does. Do you see anything different this time? Honestly, there isn't really much difference in terms of uh, China's response, and the wordings, and the potential way that they are going to retaliate against Taiwan. Yeah. I think, uh, as you just pointed out, Taiwanese people have been dealing with this kind of threat for decades, and over the last few years, this, China has not once uh, you know, stopped uh, using the gray zone tactics to actually uh, try to intimidate Taiwan. Yeah. So whether Nancy Pelosi is visiting or not, China will still fly their fighter jets into Taiwan's uh, air defense identification zone. And at the same time, uh, other items from Taiwan could mm. still be banned from importing into China. So I think that is why Taiwanese people are not necessarily over, uh, like having a very uh, big reaction to the news that she is visiting and also right. having big uh, reaction to the kind of wordings and the threats that have been coming from China. You know, William, because, you know, there are things like, uh, this is a question I want to ask because from the outside it's difficult to judge because, you know, and that's why a perspective like yours is so valuable at a time when we're talking about the possibility of conflict breaking out. And I'm glad to hear that it's not being seen as, uh, you know, out of the ordinary this time either. But, you know, things like airspace closure, the cancellation of thousands of flights uh, in mainland China on Tuesday, uh, uh, are you seeing those things as out of the ordinary and a possible indication that things could actually escalate this time or no? I mean, I'm sure there's definitely going to be additional tactics that they have not really used that often. Right. And I think the, can, the closure and the uh, air traffic control, that's uh, definitely one thing. And the other is uh, there were two Chinese uh, naval vessels being spotted uh, near the coast off the east side of Taiwan's uh, offshore island, Orchid Island. Yes. So these are, I think, definitely new ways that they're added uh, to Pelosi's visit. And I think it reflects the level of uh, importance that they're putting to the visit of Pelosi, because I think, after all, this is 
uh, the highest level U.S. official that has visited Taiwan in 25 years and probably the highest that we will be seeing because any higher than Pelosi's level is going to definitely trigger more unpredictable yeah. response from Beijing. But I think we also have to keep in mind that all, uh, no matter what kind of responses that Beijing is going to use this time, is going to be uh, pretty measured because yeah. we need to keep in the back of the mind that the 20th uh, Party Congress is coming up in the fall, and Xi Jinping is actually facing the task of uh, being uh, basically running for the unprecedented third term as the Chinese leader. So right. he does not need an external uh, trouble or uh, conflict with yeah, a true. big power. So what he wants is, is to show a stance, but at the same time, the stance needs to be strong enough so that he can convince the domestic audience that he is the right leader because he chooses the right moment to show mm. China's strength. And this is one of those moments.